Hello, second graders. This is Athens Clark County Mayor Kelly Gertz, and I am here in City Hall. And in just a couple of minutes, we're going to go hang out in my office, and I'll answer some questions that were sent to me. Um, but uh, as long as we're out in the hall, I will point you away from my office. This right here is the office of the manager. So the manager and the two assistant managers are the people who in City Hall on a day in day out basis make sure that the trash trucks are running and make sure that the grass is mowed at the parks and make sure that all the equipment that the firefighters need is ordered. So um, they are my partners here. Um, I work at the other end of the hall where we're going to go right now and uh, check out my office. So let's see what's going on down here. So in just a minute, we are going to meet Deborah, who is my assistant, who works down here diligently answering the phones. So I'm going to put my mask on here since I'm going to be in the same room. Hey, good morning, Deborah. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Good. So uh, Deborah, in normal times, greets people here at the office and uh, makes sure that I know if they're here. And she sometimes answers questions. That, that I don't need to answer and she answers the phones and emails so I could not survive without her so uh, we are lucky to have her here and Deborah has been with the Athens Clark County Unified Government for 20, how many years 22 22 years my friends so um, we are a lucky community to have her here so let's uh, let's see what goes on deeper into the office so I'm gonna head over here so no longer in 2020 does the mayor actually have to handle money but once upon a time the mayor had to handle money and so there's a vault here let's see what's in the vault now let me turn the lights on is there any cash still hanging out in here is there any cash at all no we got some post-it notes and some pencils so no more cash in the vault. That's okay. Let's go in my office where I sit every day and see what's going on. So I uh, am lucky I've got a lot of cool art here, all from Athenians. Uh, this is a painting by a man named Harold Rittenberry, who's a fantastic sculptor and painter. Uh, got a painting over here from a woman who was my neighbor for a long time, Chatham Murray. Uh, got a painting over here uh, by Mike Hamby, who's one of the county commissioners, which I'll, which I'll talk about in just a minute. And uh, let's see, over here we've got a painting of Ray Charles by Mr. Broderick Flanagan, um, who sometimes works at Chase Elementary, a uh, great local artist. So um, over here is my chair. I am often seated during the day here. I got two computer screens. That's how much work there is. Two screens. So I think people had some questions, so I want to get to these questions. Um, so someone asked, how do I become mayor? How does somebody become the mayor? Well, um, somebody becomes the mayor, one, because they want to, because they think they've got a lot to contribute to the community, which I believe that was true. And then two, by getting out there and talking to people about the good things you intend to do for Athens. And so I knocked on many, many, many thousands of doors and I made phone calls and sent text messages and Facebook messages and emails um, and sent some postcards and letters, did all the things you have to do. And at the end of the day, I got the most votes. So I'm lucky enough to be able to be mayor. Uh, it was also asked, how did you campaign to be sure that you weren't a stranger to those who are voting. Um, and like I said, uh, I knocked on a lot of doors, went to a lot of forums where I would have conversations with people, kind of like I'm having with you right now, just to let them know what I'm about. Um, and that's really my favorite part of running for office is talking to people, knocking on doors. That's, that's the thing I enjoy doing the most. It's the thing I miss right now in, in the midst of the pandemic with COVID underway, is not being able to knock on doors as much and sit down with as many people. Um, I was also asked, what other leaders do I work with? Well, um, I introduced you to the door of the manager's office. He's, he's a local leader. And I mentioned a commissioner before. In Athens, there are 10 county commissioners. And so they work with me 
and together we make the laws and we decide what we're going to spend money on here in Athens. And so each one of them has a district, which is sort of like a slice of a pie or a slice of pizza here in Athens, if you think about kind of breaking the county up that way into slices. And so um, we work together every week to make decisions. And so it's a lot of fun getting to talk to them and getting to hear different perspectives from people who see different things that, that I don't see every day. I do also get to work with um, state and national leaders. So I talk to the governor sometimes. I talk to people who are members of Congress. Um, and then I do get to talk to a lot of other mayors too. And that's been really fun. Um, I've only been mayor for a little bit more than a year and a half. And like in any job, you want to talk to people who are good at what they do to learn to be better yourself. So if you're a carpenter, you want to talk to people who are good carpenters. If you're a dentist, you want to talk to people who are good dentists. And so I sometimes get to talk to mayors of cities like Atlanta and Chicago and Gainesville, Florida and Columbia, South Carolina and Augusta and Macon and other places around the state. So that's a super fun part of the job. And we often talk about the kind of things that we're doing in our cities to make things better. And we learn from one another. And so we talk about right now, you know, how we're helping make sure people have food to eat, how we're making sure that people don't get put out of their homes, even if they've lost their job. Um, we talk a lot about how we can make sure that we've got safe places and, um, and places where the roof doesn't leak. So that's, that's really fun. Um, someone asked if there's a vice mayor. So every year, um, there's somebody that we don't call a vice mayor, but we call mayor pro tem. Um, that's short for mayor pro tempore, which is Latin for somebody who stands in for the mayor. So if there's a meeting that I can't be at um, right now, the mayor pro tem is Russell Edwards. And so he's one of the 10 commissioners. And so um, he was uh, appointed by his fellow commissioners to stand in for me if there's a meeting I can't be at. Um, and then finally, I was asked, what does it feel like to be mayor? Well, I'll say it's really fun. Um, it's a lot, a lot, a lot of work, but I learn something every day. I mean, in the same way that you guys are learning math and science and social studies and you're learning to write, I learn new things all the time. Uh, I learn how to make Athens a safer place. I learn how to make Athens a place where there are more good jobs and more good houses to live in and more fun stuff to do. And uh, so the, the fact that I learn all the time in some ways is almost like I'm a student. You know, I get to be here in this office and um, hopefully enrich the city while I, I do really feel like I'm enriching my own life. So it was good to see you for a few minutes. If you have any follow-up questions, please send them to me. I would be happy to answer those. See you soon.